Hello everyone. Uh, the first step to editing an image is to open it in Adobe Camera Raw. The goal here is to maximize the amount of detail available for us to be pushed into Photoshop. Here we use the histogram tool. Always keep an eye on the histogram to ensure that there is no clipping. And then use all the other tools such as exposure, contrast, highlights to maximize the amount of data that we send into Photoshop. We also use the shadows tool to, to reveal more shadow detail. In this case you might see more noise appear in the image but don't worry about the noise. After you're done, hit open image to push the image into Photoshop. As soon as you open the image in Photoshop, hit Ctrl J to duplicate the background layer. Create a layer mask and make sure the blending mode is set to normal. At this point, it's important to remember that you should learn the keyboard shortcuts. Here we use Ctrl Alt 2 to make a selection only of the highlights. Hit B to select the brush tool. Adjust the opacity of the brush tool uh, to 100% and press the backslash key. The backslash key will enable you to see the areas that you are painting or masking. You can also see the mask being built up in the layers palette. The reason why we make a highlight selection and then use the, the mask and brush on the mask is because the highlight selection will protect uh, the, the building area from being masked. So we don't have to be 100% perfect in, in using the layer mask. And we also are doing this to edit to make sure we make a mask which will separate the foreground and the sky, enabling us to later edit the foreground and the sky separately. Remember the most important thing while you're masking is to make sure you paint carefully. It's very easy for this to go out of control. Uh, in case you're not familiar with layers and masks, we've provided links below the video for, for tutorials that you can look up. Press backslash again to disable the overlay. Press Alt and click on the mask to show a preview of the mask. And Ctrl D to deselect. Change the blending mode to multiply. And then invert the mask. Okay, press Ctrl I to invert the mask. The inverted mask now allows us to affect only the sky. Make a layers, make a, a levels layer adjustment layer, and then copy the mask from the previous layer, holding Alt, which will replace the layer mask. Change the blending mode of this of this layer as well to multiply. This will darken the sky further. Create another levels adjustment layer. Copy the mask over with Alt and invert the layer. Now this will affect only the building and not the sky. Adjust the brightness of the image using the levels adjustment while ensuring that there is no clipping. Press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E to stamp the layers and create a copy of all the layers on top of the layers palette. Change the blending mode of this layer to multiply. Now we have to uh, we have to judiciously change the opacities of all the layers. In Photoshop, it's very easy to have the image go completely out of control and result in a very unrealistic image. Change the opacities of all the layers judiciously again to ensure you get a natural looking result. Um, I suggest you take the opportunity to read more about about blending modes, about layers, about masks, and all of this will make a lot more sense. Now press Ctrl, Shift and E to merge all the, all the layers. Ctrl J again to duplicate the background layer and filter lens corrections. This image was shot with a 24mm lens leading to uh, perspective distortion. So we are going to try and fix it using this tool. The first thing we are going to do is change the angle because it looks like there might be a tilt in the image. After which we are going to control the horizontal perspective. And then the vertical perspective. Don't worry about the top of the image being clipped out. We can always use the scale option to reveal the top of the image. It now appears as if the image is actually not tilted. So we are going to go and remove the tilt correction from the image. Again, we're making small fine-tuned adjustments for, for perspective correction. And then use the scale option to ensure that the top of the image is not cropped out.
press ok to return the result back to photoshop select the crop tool make sure to clear the ratio selection otherwise photoshop will force the image to conform to a particular aspect ratio so while we wait for the cropping to finish a uh, little bit about the photograph this was shot in shimla last april i think april 2013 and it's a, a photograph of one of uh, one of india's most historically important buildings the capital building in shimla during colonial during the colonial period Once we finish cropping, once we finish using the cropping tool, hit enter or double click to apply the cropping selection. L to select the lasso tool to make a selection around this distracting element in the photo, and use content aware fill again using the fill tool to remove that distraction. Once again, this process is repeated for the empty space on top of the image. these layers and now we can have a look at all the edits we've made using the history tool so here you can see the original image and the final image after editing thank you for watching uh, this is our first video and we have many many more in the pipeline